So hey you guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you already seen by the title, is going to be a hair install plus a chit chat. Now this video is actually sponsored by RPG Hair. So before we get into the video, let me just show you how the wig originally came. This video is touching on a lot of things, being an influencer, starting YouTube, self-confidence, just everything. Just everything okay and i hope you enjoy it if you'd like me to chit chat about any topics let me know in the comment section below so let's just get right into the video this is definitely straight out the box just the way you guys saw it i didn't do anything to it i don't intend to do anything because i feel like it is perfectly plucked bleached and all of that you guys look at this this lace this lace is everything and more okay so i'm not doing anything to the lace i'm not touching it i'm just going to install it and chit chat with you guys it says five by five on their website and i actually did think that it was going to be a five by five wig but it is a i'm seeing maybe 13 by six i think this lace is giving very much 13 by six but anyway it's 100 percent 180 percent density so this is their ombre highlight wavy style lace from wig i have it in the lens 24 all the details are going to be in the description box below and as well as you know a direct link and all that stuff so let's just dive into installing this hair and get into chit chatting and talking to you guys so my hair is not properly braided behind so i'm afraid that this might come off bulky at the back but so far it fits well i mean i hope i wish i pray because i have the same braid as i've had for two weeks like the the one you guys saw in my previous videos my two last videos on my channel just the regular braids i just wanted my head to breathe because i wear a lot of wigs i wear too many to the point that you know i started getting like a demarcation in my comp with my complexion on my forehead so you could tell where i would i normally lay my wigs and that was just not mm -mm. i just wanted to breathe i wanted my scalp to breathe but now i think i'm ready to get back into the wig life because i miss it so much but you guys this lace is everything like do you all see this lace <laughs> they did something and i don't think it's just it's not just the bleaching and everything i think the plucking is phenomenal on this wig like you don't literally have to do any work like you don't have to touch it you don't have to do anything it just stays oh i love take all my money rpg hair it's been weighing heavy on my heart to speak about this because i make videos i talk about different things most especially my experience with life in different areas different aspects i talk about how i'm handling situations how i'm dealing with my life um how i'm basically just leaving and improving and i just share my tips okay i share my tips i share just things that I had that's things that have been helping me do a better job at being a good human being and most of all like be a good woman and you know let's just get right into it the first topic I want to talk about is self-love and confidence oh I have lipstick I have lipstick on my teeth when I spoke about that video, when I made that video I literally and it's the same with all my videos I literally just shed light I give you the meaning, I tell you, I just kind of raise awareness, give a little bit of knowledge, then also talk about my experience a little bit and then, you know, give my tips, recommendations on how you can deal with it if you're going through that situation. I don't know how to put this. I've come to realize after like watching my videos back to back to back, but I watch them just to kind of like, I don't know, just have a feel of myself outside my body. I don't know how to explain that. And also just to improve because as a content creator as a youtuber the only way you can improve is to like you know check go over your work over and over again try to pick out the, the mistakes try to see how you could improve from what you've done already and also read the comments see what people are talking about see what people's feedback is you know that's how content creation works and that's how i learn and improve my content and everything else so i read every single comment on my videos okay i reply to most of all that i could get to but even if i don't reply i read everything as they come i have this to do app on my phone and i think every creator does um 
when they call if i'm not busy at the time that they actually uh send in the the comment most probably i would get to it i always read my comments over and over again and for the videos that i've made the self-improvement all this type of videos when i read the comment i am so grateful so happy so i don't know the word to use i don't know i just feel this excitement within that people resonate with the things that i i talk about people show support you all are amazing like literally like i wouldn't be seated here recording this video without you guys your support has been amazing right i appreciate you guys also the one thing that excites me the most is you all tend to share your stories as well you know if i talk about a topic related to my personal life give my experiences you know throwing a little bit of you know story time here and there inside that video in the comments you guys tend to like drop your own stories as well concerns worries in regards to the same topics and sometimes even other things that i you know worrying you guys in your life you talk about them in the comment section and i read them some of it i actually give my opinion my two cents on what you should do although when it comes to these things um i can only share my recommendations my tips my advice but you are you're free to do whatever you know you want to do you're free you're free to do whatever floats your boat right for most of those comments i feel like you all have this impression or that's what i get though that i have overcome these situations and i have exceeded them and i have conquered them that's the word actually i have conquered all these situations while that could be true i actually do not agree <laughs> that's the reason why i want to talk about that aspect in this video like i want to chit chat about it because i just feel like in as much as i talk about these things on my channel you know touch on these topics i'm human and i have the same struggles as i talk about sometimes when i give you guys the tips the recommendations and all that stuff i'm also telling myself i'm also learning from the things that i talk about although i would say the one thing that i have conquered is that unawareness that these things exist so i know these things exist in life in general and also in my life i know areas to attack all this kind of stuff i think that's where i have i can confidently say i have exceeded uh, sorry succeeded or i have conquered right but in terms of like successfully overcoming overthinking absolutely not and i think i mentioned that in that video actually i don't think i give the impression that i am elevated from all these struggles of life but in a way because i speak about it i think it kind of sends the message that i have succeeded in eliminating these areas of concern um, in my life which it is not true uh, i struggle the same way that you struggle the only difference could be that okay i know the tips i share with you guys i implement them but i want to be honest with you and let you know that even if i know how to attack these situations when they arise in my life most times it doesn't work like that most times i'm actually they, they jump off my head most times i don't even handle situations that i know i shouldn't be handling that way if that makes sense so basically i know the right way to handle the situations i haven't spoken and given advice about it to whoever cares to listen my my you know my friends you guys all of it but when i am faced with that situation again because obviously like i do have experience with it i don't handle it the way that i'm supposed to handle it and that's fine it makes me human one of the main reasons why i even share these things and talk about it is because i'm on the same journey as you are so I feel like sharing my experience helps you and as well helps me to be able to you know push through the journey I'm sharing my experiences I'm communicating with you guys in the comment section on Instagram by the way if you're not following Instagram follow me because a lot of you message me on Instagram as well which is super sweet so I'm on the same journey I'm still on the same journey in some topics when I when I speak about some topics I think I actually do mention that I'm still going through these things but I just want to share my experience so far. And by the way, if you hear me sniff, it should not be new to you guys right now. 
I'm the allergy queen. <laughs> Going back to the topic of self love, hmm, I struggle a lot. Like, it's a long time coming recognizing um, this area of my life that requires attention. And it's not easy, especially in this time, this social media, so, blah, 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 can't speak, this social media age, this social media time, like things get to you. I have told you guys a lot of times on my channel that, you know, like social media is not real, okay? It's not real. The truth is, even when you know that these things are not real, they still affect you. And I struggle with it as well. I struggle so much with, you know, what I see on a daily on Instagram or on TikTok because now I'm in TikTok and I'm trying to like really get a feel of the platform. I think TikTok is the only platform that, you know, the only other platform aside from Instagram and YouTube that I'm beginning to get interested in. You guys know that I have a struggle with Twitter. I really just, I don't know. It's just not my thing. I don't think I'll ever get the hang of it. So I tried a lot of times, by the way, just in case anyone is wondering that it's not working for me, right? I mean, Twitter. So I see these things. People rave about so many things uh, in life. So many people talk about different things of their life. You know, soft life is a thing right now. And like I said in my soft life video, soft life means a lot to different people. For most people though, it means luxury. It means buying like fine things, traveling, taking trips, you know, going on vacations, you know, spoiling yourself, all that stuff. For me, it doesn't mean that. If you've watched my video, you would know what it means to me and how I live a soft life. I mean, those things also tie, they come in, but obviously, it's not that for me even the days that we know that okay these things are not real and we shouldn't be feeling sad about stuff it still gets to me i still you know most times fall short and worry a lot get sad about situations you know blame myself for things not going right in my life all that and you would think that for someone who has the knowledge someone who talks about these things on youtube someone who gives advice and you know studies life a lot studies human interaction a lot you think like i would know better right or or i would only have like a few days in a month for instance where these things you know get the best of me and i feel sad but honestly if i'm being 100 percent transparent with you guys right now in a week i probably would have a breakdown twice and this is me being honest with you i, I, I would i have a breakdown twice especially when things are not really going the way that i want them to go with life with work with youtube with i don't know everything i do fall short and experience you know these things as well confidence self-confidence oh my god body confidence i'm confident in my body but like i have days where i literally want to scream i have days where i just feel like i look like an elephant and you know someone else looks better like what am i doing wrong or oh, i'm just eating too much i'm just drinking too much i'm just i'm just sleeping too much you know or just like i just don't look good you know and i have days like that every week i look at myself i'm like oh no okay i don't look the way that i want to look and that's fine and i'm not confident sometimes sometimes i also have that that phase where i'm not confident enough to go out dress up you know do stuff because i just feel like i don't feel beautiful i don't look beautiful sorry and, and i don't feel beautiful and even as i know that okay you know what I could just dress up, take pictures, do all of it, you know, rest, do some self-care, all of that stuff. The things that I would normally tell my friends or you guys to do if you're ever feeling things like feeling down like this. In as much as I know that I should do that, sometimes I just get tired and I don't, which is okay. It's okay. Everyone's journey is different. You know this. So however your journey makes you feel however your journey looks like appreciate it basically my journey obviously consists of tears knowledge education um, work a lot of self-improvement work and most importantly relapse if that's the perfect word to use in this context 
or you know falling short or you know taking several several steps back a lot of times I have gone back to habits that I you know I worked on the thing is what makes you you know better in a situation or grow in a situation is when you snap yourself back into reality and be like okay I'm doing it again I have to catch myself and I find myself you know doing that all the time and that's fine when I talk about confidence I always talk about oh don't care about what people say don't care about that yeah you shouldn't care about what people say but sometimes I just cannot help my emotions I do get obviously negative comments every every content creator does and with comments I honestly it's rare okay it is rare with comments for me to actually feel a type of way I, I don't I rarely feel any type of way about negative comments I've literally read a lot of terrible comments uh, before but I don't focus on that I focus on the positive ones right but that does not mean that there are some negative ones that wouldn't get to me on days that I'm already sad or days that I just don't feel my best and also I made a video on my channel when I where I spoke about um, you're doing way better than you think right that video was actually inspired by you know my own thoughts it was inspired by how i was feeling before that video and how i snapped out of it and the things that i had to tell myself the things that i had to remind myself of so that's simply to tell you that i don't 100 percent overcome something i go through it yes and if i have a breakthrough with it at that time i'll let you know what i did but it doesn't mean that i'm completely immune to it do you get what i mean because i just feel and honestly I'm, I'm, sp I'm speaking about this thing because when i read your comments sometimes i love that you guys share things with me and you guys trust me and rely on my opinions but i don't want to paint this false narrative that I am not going through these things that I'm talking about or I'm above these things because I am certainly not. So in that, that video, before I made the video, I literally went through two or three weeks of feeling low, feeling like I didn't have direction in my life, which is quite strange. <laughs> but obviously sometimes your mind plays tricks on you. And I've told you guys this, guys this a lot of times, your mind plays tricks on you or just you're just having a low moment or let's say one thing didn't work out well and then your mind starts to play games on you and tell you that, oh, because that one thing didn't go well in your life, then everything is in shambles, right? I went through three weeks of feeling down and feeling like I didn't have things together and I was behind and I just felt like I was lagging on so many things and all that stuff. So that was what triggered that particular video. I came out of it, thankfully, but obviously I have, you know, times where I would still go back to that. I don't think like it is completely eliminated in my life just because I implemented those th those tips and stuff. But yeah, that's it. Well, let me just let me lay this wig because talking and laying the wig is not doing me any good. So let me just put this glue properly and adjust this place. Another reason that actually triggered me to do this chit chat is because someone had sent me a DM on Instagram and she was like talking about how she loves loves my channel, you know, she supports my, you know, journey, all that stuff, she loves my videos. And then obviously I replied her and I was like, "Oh, you know, thank you." And then she asked me, "How are you?" And I said, "Oh, I'm good. Like, I'm all right." And then she goes, "No, like, how are you? Like, how are you?" Obviously, I told her that I'm okay and everything, like I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm good, I'm happy, I'm at a happy place in my life which I am, I'm happy, I'm grateful for the position that I am right now in life, you know, even if I'm not where I want to be or where I thought I would be at this time, it's 2022. It made me feel good. It made me feel human again, 
if that makes sense you know that's why i decided to make this video so maybe it's me that is giving the impression or maybe because you know being a content creator talking about these things you know sharing my experience and all that it's kind of giving up the impression that oh you know what she has it all together i don't have it all together guys oh also there's somebody that wrote a comment on one of my videos and was like oh she aspires to be like me you know to have the level of stability and mindset and all that stuff that she thinks i have because i'm gonna say that thanks <laughs> and all that and then she just and i've seen that kind of comment a lot of times on my channel also on instagram right and i don't want to ever ever put out that impression i'm okay with being an inspiration you know through my work you know what i mean through my work you know putting out content working hard you know trying to create a brand and stuff like that for myself so that obviously if i inspire you in that aspect of life i am 100 percent happy about that but when it comes to like oh i think she has a personal life together sis i don't have my personal life together I do not and that this is me being honest with you i can't 100 control that and i've come to the realization that i cannot 100 control how people view me uh good or bad you know and being a content creator and coming out here to talk about stuff you know showing you a part of my life showing you all of it that's why i am going to start doing vlogs like seriously because and me i want to do vlogs that are 100 percent realistic like you see me doing my if it's boring it's boring do you get if it's boring it's boring if i do something fun for the week i do something if i don't i'm still going to let you know i'm not going to wait till when i do something fun to put that together do you get i'm gonna have different types of vlogs and that's why i really want to invest into doing weekly vlogs so you see not obviously not like in depth how i live every week but like just to have a feel of how human i am as well do you get and obviously people see you in ways that you don't see yourself a lot of people ask about my real opinion about doing youtube being an influencer putting yourself out there i think yes do it you know if you have the passion for it if this is what you truly want to do it's always a good idea to do youtube and stuff and not just youtube instagram TikTok, and the rest of it so but the thing is people always come to me privately to ask like even people that i know and also like also, also some of you uh from the internet ask me like is it really worth it like how can i do this um what's to expect and all that stuff expect anything from youtube anything once you put yourself out there once you start doing youtube once you start making videos creating content most especially sharing your opinions not everyone is going to be okay with it not everyone is going to share the same opinions as you and obviously in return they would question your opinions most of the time be rude most of the time share their opinions but insult you in the process all that kind of stuff um call you out your name misunderstand your words misunderstand your point like literally expect anything from youtube and when you want to do youtube just or just it, apart from youtube like just social media as a whole like instagram tiktok it could be the exact same twitter as well so it's like when you decide to put yourself out there anything is possible which you have to be prepared for mentally emotionally and physically as well you have to be prepared for anything that comes with it so it is tough it is 100 like it is terrifying it has its merits and demerits for sure but i feel like if you're not strong enough for it then don't do it not everybody is going to like you and you have to be okay with it that's why you have to be confident enough to know that okay you know what i believe in myself my content what i'm putting out and obviously obviously okay this does not have anything to do with like those constructive you know criticism and stuff where people are telling you oh your mic isn't working properly or you shouldn't say this or this is how i feel like you should improve your content or i feel like you're too far from a camera there's little things that people could tell you which i look out for in, on my channel i look out for those things on my channel like if you tell me oh this isn't working fine like i realize my mic has not been working well 
for I don't know the last five six videos and I've been trying to fix it I hope this new one this new mic is actually working well and I've seen comments about it like a couple times and obviously I'm not mad at it at all I can't be because they're right like you check it and see or let's say you know something isn't working well there are people that genuinely would just respectfully tell you that okay this isn't sitting right with us or me or whatever and if you see reason obviously you can make changes but that's aside but there are also people that come at you crazy those ones you don't even take into account but i'm talking about like you have to be confident in the content that you create in terms of the content that you pick as long as it's not offending other people and you make the content put it out there and just born because people might not like it <laughs> okay people might not like it and when they don't like it they don't like it they're just going to talk about it i love youtube so much i love creating content i don't think there's anything anyone can do to change that so if you're not strong enough despite the fact that you might love content creation or you might want to be on the platform if you're not your heart is not don't do it because i have seen a lot of content creators sleep into depression or anxiety like severe one or like completely just lost confidence in themselves i have received a lot of comments negative comments in terms of how i look how i speak my facial features literally someone told me like last week that um they felt like my my lip liner was too much and what they actually mean or maybe they actually thought that i had i replied to that comment because typically i don't reply but i replied to that because i just wanted the person to know that you're literally coming for my naturally giving gift <laughs> my natural gift from the lot because it's how my lips are you know like i only have lip gloss on i don't do anything else like i don't use lip liners i actually almost do not use i don't use lipsticks well almost I, but i use mainly like lip gloss and that's it this is how my lips came this is how colored it is this is it this is it obviously like i have colored lip gloss up there but like I, I don't have dark lip liner but she actually thought i literally intentionally colored my entire top lip but she just felt like it was distracting her like my top lip was and i've seen so many people say oh my gap tooth is actually distracting to them as well so many things right for me i can handle it you know because i prepared myself even before starting youtube like years ago prepare for everything but other than that youtube is an amazing platform it's an amazing platform it's an amazing side hustle it's an, it's an amazing main hustle it's an amazing job now let's get to styling this week because this is so beautiful but i'm going to put some serum in the hair and as always i use the isena the bottle is so crooked i use the isena um, i think it's the argan oil hair serum i love this so much i use this a lot for all my wigs oh my god i need to close this glue because i always get a new glue when i'm installing my hair i just leave it open and then the next thing i'm buying another glue <laughs> I'm going to put in some loose curls on this wig let me know topics like chit chat video topics that you like me to um you know do next that's if you like this one and i hope you liked this one you can just leave me topics under this video and i'll just collect them and do a lot of chit chat maybe while doing my makeup or getting ready or something like that this past week has been a lot <laughs> a whole lot for me and honestly i am so ready to start a new week with like positivity good vibes good energy i use got to be to hold my curls as well so that it just kind of stays in place yeah i'm just gonna put a little to hold the curls in so this is how the hair came out everything looks good i love this hair so much it's given very much 
summer ready giving very much uh you know i'm ready to be outside type of vibe if you'd like to check this week out which i'll definitely recommend that you do so i'm going to leave everything in the description box below again thank you so much rpg here for sponsoring this video and all that good stuff also you guys don't forget to let me know you know topics that you like me to chit chat on in upcoming videos leave it below in this video like below 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 i don't say this enough but thank you guys so much for the support for the love just everything that you guys do for me show to me you know and all that good stuff thank you so 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 much i really do appreciate it follow me on instagram to keep up to date with other parts of my life links in the description box below and as well as on the screen thank you again thank you thank you thank you so much and i will see you in my next one bye